my fingerprints and everything found out it's the wrong person. But they were requiring people to take TB tests and all this stuff. And they asked about a vaccine. I said, no, thank you. <laughs> you know? But you had the right to say no. What about all these different situations? What are people like us going to do? People are going to have to that? stand up. People are going to have to stand up and take action in a, in a peaceful, lawful way. But just stand firm and say no. I mean, you, you can't let people put stuff in your body. It's criminal to let people do that and to force that on you. And I, I applaud you for that. Like, you've known this for a long time. There's a lot of people out there that don't know. There's a lot of people that don't know that when you get some of these shots, you shed the virus for weeks at a time, especially the measles. That's why a lot of people were getting measles and transferring it in this Disneyland thing. We're already vaccinated because they were actually shedding the virus, getting other people sick. So thank you for that, Sylvia. Now we got James in California. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Thanks, gentlemen, for having me on today. Mm -hmm. uh, wonderful show. Great topic. Uh, my experience was my son, uh, he's five now. Um, during uh, delivery, my wife and I obviously were in the hospital. And, uh, you know, this is 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, extremely tired, extremely stressed. And when you're ready to, you know, shoot your kid up with these things, it's just, before they even ask you, they got these needles out, and they're just ready to stick them. I mean, it was, uh, I mean, I still wake up in the middle of the night and um, just freaked out thinking something's going to go wrong. Um, but luckily, we haven't experienced any difficulties yet with our son. He's bright. He's smart. Uh, no problems. Um, I think part of the thing that we did do that was right as soon as my wife became Sorry, I'm getting a little uh, upset about this, but, um, you know, I live here in crazy Fournie where they just want to push this garbage on you. Now we're forced to have our kids shot up with it just when they go to school. We have our son in a private school right now, and basically when he's ready to go into the first grade, we're going to be moving out of here because uh, we just don't want to deal with it. But just the pressure they put you under, um, you know, during a stressful time like uh, pregnancy and delivering your baby, um, and how they just want to shoot you up with this stuff. It's, it's crazy. Uh, we had an all organic diet as soon as she became uh, pregnant, um, filtered our water. We still have an all organic diet. Uh, we don't eat any GMO, processed foods, uh, any of that garbage. Um, use clear mason iodine. Uh, uh, use super male, super female. Um, and, you know, right now everyone's healthy and thank God for that. Yeah, definitely. And I like the fact that you're taking action and going, you know what, we're not going to stay around in this system. We're just going to move our lives somewhere else. And that's what you have a lot of people doing. You have a lot of people putting their kids in homeschool. You have a lot of people just moving out of the state of California because they don't want to put up with the medical tyranny. And we're going to be back. I think we're only going to have time for those last three callers, Alden, Dr. Mike, and Crystal. Uh, I wonder if Dr. Mike is pro-vaccine or anti-vaccine. That'll be interesting. He's in Wyoming. So stay tuned. We're going to find out here next on The Alex Jones Show. This is Rob Dew. And I'm your host. We're going to continue with your calls here for this last segment of the Overdrive Hour for, of the Alex Jones Show. I'm your host, Rob Dew. Uh, coming up tonight, 7 p.m. Central, Leanne McAdoo is going to be covering the refugee crisis and, and show you how it's been manufactured, essentially. Well, one, by the U.S. and NATO going and bombing other countries and creating instability, which is creating refugees who want to get out of that. And... <laughs> Then how and, and then you got Obama at the same time taking selfies out in Alaska, pretending, you know, about this global warming crisis. And at the same time, he's giving money to Iran, Saudi Arabia. And these countries aren't doing anything to help this immigration crisis of what's going on and just how all that folds together. She's going to be covering covering that and a whole lot more on the Infowars nightly news tonight. Prison Planet members at PrisonPlanet.tv can watch that live as it airs at 7 p.m. Central. And if you're not a member, I would encourage you to get a membership today because you can share your username and password with up to 20 people at one time. So that's 20 Info Warriors for the price of one. Now let's get back to your calls. We've got a short segment. Alden, make your story quick. Go ahead. I got two quick stories for you. One's about my sister. Uh, about eight years ago, she got a Gardasil shot when she was 18. And uh, shortly after that, she got chronic fatigue. And uh, she had that for about a year, and they called it mono. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, she got rid of it for about six months. Then uh, it came back with, like, vengeance. And ever since it came back, she's had it to this day. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, very emotional. But I found out about a, the Gardasil uh, effects and whatnot. And uh, 
I talked to my mom, and uh, she said that she always had the same conversation with uh, my sister about it, and that uh, she thought the same thing. But uh, about me, a very similar thing happened to me when I was 18, about the same time frame as the vaccines my senior year. And uh, about three months after that time, I had a migraine come in December 20th, 2009. I've had that same migraine every day for the past five plus years. And uh, I've had a stack, like, you know, that stack of paper you have on that desk? That's like my file of medical uh, documents. Like, have you seen the Botox commercials on TV? Mm -hmm. I've done that. Uh, It sunk into my eye sockets and I was blinded for two weeks. So, I mean, I've had horrible problems since and uh, my family has kind of been cursed because of it. They've created a one-size-fits-all situation for people and are trying to cram everybody into it, and it is disgusting. Um, uh, John, I want to go to Dr. Mike next and see what he has, make sure we get him in. Dr. Mike in Wyoming, can you hear me? Yes, just uh, fine. Can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Uh, yeah, to the woman from California who, who had passed out after vaccination, I would suggest that she uh, go back to uh, the, the Asian doctor who, who diagnosed her with uh with an immune re- reaction to that uh, vaccine and uh, see if he would help her make out a uh, medical tag for her, medical alert so that if she does, you know, if she's ever, ever in a car accident or whatever, uh, they, uh, they don't uh, vaccinate her while she's unconscious or unable to uh, fend for herself. Um, I tell you, if uh, I've written op-eds in the local paper, and if you want to see uh, operatives come out of the woodwork, pharmaceutical Companies must scour the newspapers. Even in a small town in southwestern Wyoming, uh, they uh, ferreted out my uh, piece and uh, wrote an uh, opposing piece. Fortunately, I, I had enough ammunition to, to fight back from for Dr. Sherry uh, Tenpenny and her website and others uh, that I, I, I just uh, completely shot this guy down and, and uh, never heard from him again. But uh, I, I warned people, especially pregnant women, uh, away from uh, the hepatitis B vaccine, which they will jab into your, your child's thigh before he takes his first breath, which makes absolutely no sense in this country. Uh, so I, I do try to warn people, but uh, it, 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 it's, a, it's kind of a gray area. Uh, if you look at the, the data that people have compiled, the, uh, the number of uh, autism and uh, related cases start to rise uh, very quickly. There's an inflection point back I in the totally 80s. I totally agree. Dr. Mike, we got to run. That's our show for today. Join us back here tomorrow, 11 a.m. Central, and the Nightly News tonight at 7. Totalitarianism comes in many different flavors throughout history. It can come from the right wing, the left wing. It can come from religious cults. It can come from a foreign invading army. And in the modern 21st century, it's basically coming from political correctness, masquerading as the Renaissance, masquerading as liberalism. It seeks to shut down free speech. And the controlled globalist left has willing accomplices in the Republican Party and other conservative and libertarian organizations and groups throughout the world. The robber barons that control this planet are not free market. They are monopoly men who seek to have systems free of competition controlled by offshore combines above the law. The main mission of InfoWars.com and my 20 years on air is to shatter the left-right paradigm and to get the public to become aware of what's really governing and controlling society on a mass scale. Bottom line, we have reached that legendary, colossal moment in history where the next thousand years of human development, our very destiny is being decided. That's why we're launching Operation Money Bomb 2015. The first money bomb I've done in three years because we only do these if they're critical to be able to build up our infrastructure. And with the money we raise from this, we will be able to stay on the satellites and get on UHF, VHF, and cable stations across North America, reaching tens of millions of more people right at the time they're receptive and looking for answers. Starting September 16th through the 17th, we're going to broadcast live from 11 a.m. on the 16th through 2 p.m. 
on the 17th for 27 hours with an amazing lineup of guests, investigative journalists, documentary films, and more. We are seeking to raise a million dollars so that we can reach 400 million extra people potentially in the next year. Because if you do the math, and if you look at the numbers that we're already getting from affiliates and from the internet and from YouTube and from Facebook and all the platforms, we are reaching 20 million people a week. If you put all that together over a year, that's upwards of 200 million different individuals around the world is how the algorithm metrics come out. So I simply want to double that in the next 12 months after launching this money bomb. Just the satellites, the closed captioning under federal law and other regulations will cost us right at $39,000 a month, which if you add it together is over $400,000 a year alone. When you talk about cameras, crew, studio, million dollars is only a portion of what we need to do this, but it's an important part to ensure with the collapsing economy and the hard times we're going into that we have the funds it takes to keep this beacon of truth exposing globalism and dehumanization operating so join us this september 16th and 17th for what i believe will be the final money bomb that infowars ever runs as we prepare to launch to the next and final level of global awakening because as mahatma gandhi famously said First, they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they attack you, then you win. We are in that process of being massively attacked. And in the face, we're charging up, getting ready, and going in. Go to Infowars.com forward slash money bomb for all the information. And in closing, I want to say this to all of you patriots out there across the globe that have spread the word about our operation and that have supported us. History is happening right now. The destiny of humanity is being decided right now. And InfoWars, which you, the viewers and listeners and activists, stand at the heart of, is the engine that has made all this possible. You're not standing behind the InfoWar. You are standing at the center of it. You are right beside us in this fight. And I guarantee you, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, and Sam Adams would be incredibly proud of what you've done in defense of human freedom, in defense of true liberty. So from myself, Alex Jones, and the entire InfoWars crew, we salute you. Join us this September 16th and 17th for the 27-hour Money Bomb in defense of human liberty.